Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another Simply Colorful Fibercast. Today's date is March 22nd, 2019. My name is Lynn Marquardt, and I'm your host. Welcome. Grab a project and let's make something together. I'm so glad you could join me. Before I get started, again, we're going to do Dear Jane because March is our Dear Jane quilting month. Not basketball, but Dear Jane. Before we get into it, though, I want to start my overhead camera, which I do through Facebook. So bear with me. I'm glad you're there. Get your project out. Get your, um, your magazine. Get your glass of wine. Get your chocolate cake, whatever you want. And let's just relax and do some sewing together for the next 58 minutes or so. Okay, let's get this started. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another Simply Colorful Fibercast. I'm so glad you could join me. We're making more Dear Jane blocks. So if you're new to Simply Colorful and to Fibercast, see what it's all about. We're just sewing together. Feel free to join the YouTube channel as well, YouTube slash Simply Colorful. Let's get sewing. And if I do this right, maybe you won't see my head or my body. The whole goal here is that you get to see what I'm working on, both on my sewing machine and also on my cutting board. Hi, everyone out there. So I'm looking at two cameras. I'm looking here where my hands are and then out front anyway how has everyone's week been happy spring just make sure Whoops, no nope. that's last week's never mind sorry guys Okay, this is not good pod. How do we find this? Turn that off. Are we recording? Oh, I see people on there. I just need to find you on here. Hi, everyone. Here we go. Hi, folks. So we are getting some yellows filled out on our dear Jane. And tonight, so all I can say before we begin is thank goodness there are five Fridays in March. So it's giving me just that much more time to fill out our dear Jane puzzle. And what we're doing, and it's totally random and it kind of cracked me up. You're going to think this is kind of funny what I did. We're going to work on this row, K. So when I was at the retreat, I worked on the bottom two rows over the last, since 2012, over the last seven years, I've worked on these rows and I've worked on a few here and there. So I thought I had printed out some of these K's. And so I thought we would do that this week. Well, I forgot. So this is classic. I go to K1 and I put together my pieces for a K1, right? I get this far and then I go to my book where I've been keeping all of my notes and I go to the book K1 so that I can set things up and lo and behold, I discovered that I've already done K1. Do you believe it? That that is inefficient. So if anyone wants these half done K1 blocks, they're yours because I am sticking with my original. I stopped what I was doing. And interestingly, that original I did on the vineyard, on Fibercast, on June 3rd, three years ago, almost three years ago, 2016. And we talked about the difference between a creek, river, stream, brook, kill, and slough. And I think I remember thinking I never knew what a kill or a slough was. 
So those are all words for moving, moving water of different types. Anyway, the good news is we can call K, K1 done. And check this out. There are some others that are also done on the K row. This is K13, which I love, Brandon Starr. This one is pretty, a batik. This is K12. I don't have the name of it. Oh, you know what we could do, though? We could look and see when it was made. So K-12 made this with Deb Linehan and Carol Ouellette on February 25th, 2017. How fun is that? This one, I made at the retreat, 2 19 So I made this less than a month ago. How random is that? And this one, this looks like a, yep, I made this at the retreat last, this February. Could I remember that? Not in your life. Although this fabric does look recent. Okay. And then this one is K9. Use precise ruler. Oh, I bet I made, oh, this is Scout's Honor. I think I made this with Joyce, who, congratulations, Joyce. I don't know if our, you remember me talking about Joyce. She was the woman who has been taking uh, phlebotomy classes. I hope that I'm saying that right. Medical technology. And she's it's intense coursework, and she passed the first half, and now she's going into her practical work and actually working in the hospital. So I'm so proud of her. And years ago, she taught me how to do more precise piecing, and I think – this is one that we might have made together, or I might have made this separately, but this is what she taught me. And she said, um, always do a quarter of an inch, use thinner pins, use a rug rubber liner under the machine so it doesn't move to get more precise. Make sure to check your quarter inch seams, um, measure every section, every round after every section, every section after every round. So. Scouts Honor K9. And then I don't have a date on that though. I wonder when I did that. This one I did on May Day in 2015. So almost four years ago, constructed on Fibercast. Oh, Patty. Hi, Patty. She finished her bow tie front. Sandra made preemie booties. Maureen in Pennsylvania convinced me to make another doll. And and it's beautiful in Ontario, where Kathy is, and she just finished her Carolina chain quilt. How cool is that? That was back in 2015. And then one more, and then we'll get sewing, and we'll, we'll come back to the here and now. This was made in the summer of 2016. I think it was documented on 7-8-17. I don't know what that means, but that was a reverse applique, and it's called Rows of Sharing. Okay, so let's go back to the beginning of the row for K. So again, we've done the first one, and we have five more to do, and then we've done the rest of them. So let's look at K2 for the next one. Well, I did get this started, and K2 is called Grandpa's Chickens, and it's just a checkerboard. So what I have done is I started to sew together the checkerboard already. And that's what I'm going to work on. So if you're out there, send a uh, an email, send me pictures to lynn at simplycolorful.com. I always like to see what people are working on and we share them here. Tell me how your week has been going. I am loving my new machine. 
Oh, we've been dog sitting. So if you hear a bark, oh, or a growl, that is Josie. She is, she is a lovely, Josie, come here. Good girl. Good girl, come up here. Can you come up here? Hang on. Come here. Oh, Josie, yes. Say hi to everyone. Say hi over there. I bet we can't get you under the camera. Sorry, Facebook. You'll have to go subscribe to the YouTube channel. This is Josie. She's half Yorkie and half Poodle. And she's a good girl. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Your time in the sun is done. I have to get back to sewing. And her father is in the Raleigh airport, stuck there. He was working there all week. And her mother is down in Florida on a little vacation. And Josie came to stay with us. Say goodbye. <laughs> okay, you're going to get down. Okay. There you go. Ah, that was impromptu. Oh, boy. Okay. So now we've done that much. Sorry, Facebook people. I'm sorry you didn't get to see her. Or maybe you did a little bit. I am doing only an eighth of an inch seam on this middle checkerboard. It's all it could really handle. The squares are so tiny. They're three eighths of an inch. The squares are. Okay, so that goes here. And now what I need to do is put, well, I guess maybe I'll, I'll iron it. Let's put that over there. And then let's iron this. Okay, we're getting that ready. And then I cut out these pieces. This one is left over. Here's the short one. We should do this one first. While I'm letting the iron heat up, I'll just sew this one on. Probably a bad idea, but... Although I did find Deb was looking at my dear Jane today. She dropped off a couple of quilts for machine quilting. If anyone out there doesn't happen to know I do machine quilting, go to simplycolorful.com to learn all about it. Anyway, Deb dropped off a couple of the quilts and she looked at my dear Jane blocks behind me and I found myself making excuses for some of them because some of them are just not very well done. And I wondered, oh, and I ran just about out of bobbin. And I wondered if when I get all the blocks done and hopefully don't do two like I did with my K1, maybe I'll go and redo one or two blocks. I can't believe I'm saying that. But some of them are just really not, not all that good. And they're the applique ones for the most part. The pieced ones are fine. But it's those fine little applique. You can either steam, see my stitches or the actual shape is a, isn't consistent. It looks funny. Anyway, there's that. Now, I did cut these longer. So now we want to do that and then that. And then this one's the very long one. And that'll go like that. Okay. And I will trim this.
oh, I've been thinking of those of you in the center part of our United States. I can't believe the flooding I'm seeing on the news. I hope everyone's are okay and the animals. And speaking of animals, I was uh, saddened to see the Fisher Barn burned down on the vineyard a few days ago. Flat Point Farm, is that what it's called? Flat Farm? Oh. Tell ya. Oops. Be thankful for every day. Okay, I'm gonna use this as a pointer. See, I wish that the overhead camera, let's see, maybe you can see this. And I left my scissors over somewhere, so I don't have scissors here tonight. We should do a whole show on sewing without scissors or sewing without a needle. <laughs> okay, and then we'll put one more on. I love this white on white material. It's a pretty print. Oh, but I should be seeing who's out there and seeing your comments, shouldn't I? Oh, yay. I can say hi. Hey, Carol. Carol, down under, down over. You're not down under. You're over. Hey, KB says hi, Josie. Oh, Josie heard me. Lacey. Hi, Lacey. Who else is out there? Oh, Carol says I miss having a dog. Well, let's talk about that. I do too. And I forgot though, that they do require some attention and some work. There we go. Look at that. I like it. I'll just trim it up. That is K2. So let's move on. I think we might get another one done. Oh, check this out. Oh, K3, seven sisters. Oh, look at this. A little bit of advanced work has been done. So K3 is this one. Lots of squares. And it's paper pieced. Ooh. You know, what did I do there? Oh, I'll just snip that and move it over. Yeah, I need my scissors. Okay, let's give it another good press. So it's spring. It rained a lot here overnight and today. And it's pretty cool still in the Northeast. And it looks like it's gonna be that way for a while, at least for the next few days. Okay, and there's that. So now we just have to put these white around it. What did I do? Maybe this one's the longer one. Let's just go round and round. So Carol, what kind of dog did you have? And 
I hear you. They are snuggly. Oops. Caught up my seam. Caught up. See how I did that? So now I'm just going to sew that over again. So we have, after today, we have nine more days in March. And we're certainly not going to finish, dear Jane. But wouldn't it be cool if I could get a few of these rows together before I, at the end of March, I am going to put it away for a little bit because I want to work on, I want to go back to those charm squares we were working on, the charm square quilts. My sister has designed a quilt that she has offered for us to do. So it's a pattern based on a charm, a set of charm squares. And... We're going to offer it so you know what you're making ahead of time. So it won't be a mystery. And you can choose which color wave to do it in. And I think, I think we can accomplish it in a month. So there will be, you know, like four, four or five. May has five weeks in it, five Fridays. So I thought we could split it up into five that month is my current thinking. So stay tuned for that. Our first simply colorful, what are we gonna call it? Charm quilt along, charm square quilt along. Something a little different. Okay, we'll do one more. hesitate to put my dear Jane away because you know who. Oh, okay. So I'm getting an error on my machine and it's pointing to this. And this happened when I was putting a binding on my quilt. And I think that, yeah, look at what happens. I don't know if I pushed it too fast, but look at how my tension on the bottom is, I you know you can't see it there, but it's not looking good. Top looks okay, but the bottom is just very loose. So let us see what's going on. Let's clean some things out. Okay, so check this out. I don't know if you can see this. piece of thread along with the lint. Almost, this orophil is generating a lot of lint. I've become um, spoiled, I think, with my glide thread that I use on my long arm for the most part. Although, like when Deb came by today, we picked out 100% cotton that will do a lot of this shedding. But I get spoiled. That glide, there is no lint. Okay, now. Oh, that's funny. What I thought was an extra piece of thread in there is actually the bobbin thread. <laughs> okay, let's take this off. Open this girl up. Oh. Have I shown you the bobbin on this one? Do you believe it's got plastic? Oh, and look at, I don't have too much on my bobbin, but the bobbins last forever. Let's see if there's any. Any lint in there, okay. Lint 
in here. Okay, let's put this girl back in. I don't know why I called the bobbin a girl. And I'm not gonna. Okay. Sorry, talking out loud. There we go. Okay. My goodness, this is going to cut down on our our rate. Woo! How do you guys um, clean your machines? So what are you saying out there? Uh, Ah, oh, Lacey. No, my dog isn't. You're right. Ah, oh, Lacey says she hadn't heard Lynn talk about her dog in a while. It's true. We had that black lab alley, and it'll be two years in June that she just became very old and sick, and we had to put her down. She had a good long life, though. There's that, okay. Hi, Pat. If you can't see your mistake from a low flying plane, don't worry about it. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, we're gonna call this one done too. So this is F uh, K3. That's kind of cool. All right, now K4. I have some fabric from my sister, a backing that my sister just had me do, backing of a quilt she just had me do, and I thought I'm going to use it on this square. So I've I've got it all out. I have one more that I want to do first, and then we'll come back to this if we have time. And it was this one, K5, called, oh, I bet you can't see this, sorry. K5 is called Passing Through. And I already made the, the four, four block square, right? And then this is the only fabric I have left. And this came from Deb Linehan. And I'm going to cut it in four. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make four diamonds that I will applique on. So four diamonds that are going to be applique right there. What I'm going to do is, oh, and I don't even have scissors. So pretend I cut that in quarters and then when I bring it downstairs, I'll cut it in a diamond and then I'll do needle turn. So for now though, so I'll just do that. I wonder if I have K6 here. I think I'd rather do that than this. I don't think I have K4, but let's check. I have random things in here. These are some J's that need some piecing. Oh, I was going to do Australian Pines. If we ran out of things to do. J, J. Oh, look at this one. That's going to be, I wonder how many pieces are in this corner one. Huh. Well, that's a fun one. J10. 
See, I don't want to start any of these others because I have to go look, do more inventory. Okay, well, let us put this all aside and no, I'm not going to do that tonight. I'm going to do that. That goes there. Well, why don't we write, write what we're going to do here? And I guess I can, well, one thing I can do is we finish these two. So we can color K2 and K3. I won't do K5 yet because it's not done. And it's a Friday night. What can we do? Let's see who's out there. Hey, Becca and Dave, hello. Becca, the quilt you did that you posted a picture of the top earlier today is amazing. It, it looks just beautiful. That would be a fun one to do um, together. But I'm so glad you're out there. Are you somewhere exotic? You guys are always going fun places. Oh, Carol had two Bichon and a Border Collie. Oh, uh, how, the Bichon are beautiful. I've heard they're wonderful. Oh, and Sue has a Corgi. Yes, Sue, I'm ready for spring too. You must be ready. All your your plants to come up. Carol says it sounds good. I saw a charm pack when I was looking for some binding strips. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Keep that aside. Looks like your bobbin has lost tension. It sure did. But now it seems to be okay. Hmm. Huh. Maureen says I'm overdue on cleaning my machine. I hear you. <laughs> Sue says, so has everyone been following the baby, the giraffe baby? And is April the mother or the baby? April had her baby, so April's the mother. I was thrilled to see that. You made me laugh. I laughed out loud. I was lying on the couch, as I tend to do on a Saturday morning, every morning, actually. And by the way, I have a couch that's really cool that has a recliner in it. So the couch will go along like this, and then you can put the recliner out and you can sit that way too. And you can put your coffee right there. It's delightful. So I'll, I'll sit there and of course I'll have TV on, but then I'll also be scrolling through my iPad and looking at Facebook. And a few Saturdays ago, Sue, now of course I'm, I'm flat out, pretty much, I'm exaggerating, but there I am lounging on the couch haven't even gotten dressed yet. And Sue has already posted that she's in her sewing room. She has, I don't know what, what entertainment you had on the right, some dancers or beboppers. And then she had another video of April, the giraffe waiting, watching to, for her to give birth. And then she had her sewing machine and she had her work in front of her. And I thought that is just perfect. Her own little room, her own little setup. Um, but I did, I laughed, Sue, when I saw that. So thank you. Keep posting those. Oh, Sandra. She says she misses her 16-year-old Sheltie, too. Oh, wow. You had a lot of years with her. How are your kitties? Hopefully they keep you company. Carol says, I clean my machine every week. Uh, stems from when I worked in a factory and we had to clean our machines every Friday. Well, Carol, that is a good practice to get into, especially with my long arm over here. I, I probably should do that. You know, I do, I do minor dusting and I clean, I swiffer around. I wonder if I, and I oil it every night after eight hours. Um, huh. I wonder if I should do that and make it a, a point. Every Friday. I would say do it every week if you're using your machine every day. Would you agree, Carol? Oh, hi, Linda Johnson Grant. I will not be at the workshop. The Marathon Quilters are having a Tim Natar workshop. It'll be a blast, but I won't be there. Sorry. I just, it was one of those things when it came time to sign up, I just couldn't take on another thing. 
even though I love Timna's work. Again, it's Timna Tar, T-A-R-R, if anyone wants to look her up. Have fun. Yes, <laughs> Karen says, are you looking for one you can make without scissors? <laughs> yes, I am, in fact. I'm a little bit stymied here. <laughs> But you know, that's okay. Sometimes I'm just enjoying being right here. I may, I don't know what time it is, but I may end a little ahead of time. Um, oh, I wanted to show you this. Again, no scissors, but I did finish another one of these bags. Remember I made this and I showed the guild and then I made a couple of different ones in different stages. Well, I finished the second one. So that feels good. These are the sew together bags. There are, um, the pattern is on Amazon. And I hope I have a link to it somewhere on my page. But that's a good, good, good one to have. Oh, I can't believe it's taken me so long. Darlene Darren, if you're out there, thank you for becoming a patron. And your shirt, your Simply Colorful shirt, send me, I sent you a message. Hopefully you got it. If you didn't, let me know. Um, what size would you like? So we have everything from small to 5X. And no one knows what size anyone gets. That's between us and God. <laughs> um, but thank you for becoming a patron. I really, really appreciate it. Um, keeps the lights on. As Adam Carolla says, it keeps the sales sails let's see the wind in the sails of the pirate ship okay um well i had one other thing here this is a quilt made by the students at the perkins lower school here i can put this away you don't need to see all my junk kind of interesting all musical musical elements but yes, what else can I do? I guess I could write on, oh, I could tear this off. What else do we have to update each other on? You see how I did that? You just drop it down there. These take a long time to rip out. Um, oh, wow, hi, Lorelei. Oh my goodness. How are you? I love to see your humor online. Thank you for sharing and please keep sharing. Lorelai and I worked, Lorelai is an artist, a designer. She and I worked in Boston at the same company for a couple of years, right? Oh, I hope life is treating you well and you're getting to travel and do some fun things and play with that grandbaby of yours that is just beautiful. I'm so psyched you're out there. <laughs> Sue, let's sing show tunes. <laughs> Not. <laughs> okay, so Carol says, we used to get 15 minutes to clean the bobbin area as that got clogged with lint. Okay. So this factory you were in, you were actually sewing then. I guess I... I assumed it could be any kind of machine, but that would make sense because you could make anything. I've seen what you make. And I wonder if you miss it or if you still do it. I bet you don't. But yes, KB, I am dead in the water. I could go get some scissors, but you know what? I think I'm gonna call us this a success. Once I finish tearing this out, we'll document K2 and K3, and then I think we will. Oh. Has anyone watched Frankie and Grace on Netflix? It's a little bit racy. There are some things that are a little, will make you blush if you're watching it with, with some company. But man, it is funny. I enjoy that. It's with Lily Tomlin and Jane Fonda, who it's just remarkable that they are still in the game, isn't it? They're inspiring.
fortunately, I did use a smaller stitch length. So this is relatively easy to pull out. And you can use um, seam rippers to score the paper if you're having a hard time getting it out. Sometimes that'll work. This isn't too bad. Although it's probably causing distortion in my block itself. But. And then when I do have scissors, again, I'll cut right there so that it lies over flat. And let's see, June will go, so May will do, oh, okay. So we're still in March. March is Dear Jane month. April, I'm thinking of doing some sort of a European focus, maybe fabrics from a country in Europe or quilts. So stay tuned on that. Then in May, we will do the Charm Square quilt that Karen has designed. And then, then we're in June, do you believe that? Where we'll be doing a lot of gardening for sure. Um, don't know, maybe we could switch it up and do rug hooking or something totally different. Maybe we'll do that. Or wouldn't it be fun to do some like fabric painting or something? Fabric dyeing, sun, sun dyeing. Remember K, KB when you brought all that fabric dyeing um, project to moms? That was fun. That's where you put, and I don't remember the chemicals, but you would put the fabric outside, then you could put ferns or objects on top of the fabric and treat it and then let the sun do the work. And what would it do? It would bleach out where you had the fabric and then the color would be around it, something like that. Okay. All right, so let's just toss everything we don't need on the floor. Oh, cool. Carol Bell, a Missouri Star trunk show with Jenny. Yes, I have seen one and she's fantastic. She's entertaining and witty and really creative. She has some ways to use pre-cuts that you're going to think, oh, why didn't I think of that? And she'll most likely bring her husband, which will be great. Three, 22, 19. I don't know what NEC is. Oh, Maureen, hi, Ding. Maureen in PA, so 3, 22, 19. And then this is K2. And then maybe I'll put my initials for those historians, which cracks me up. Like they're ever going to see this. Okay, K2. Oh, uh -huh, but that was K3. Yeah, that'll really goof up the historians. <laughs> K3, seven sisters. Okay. K3. Okay, and then this one is K2. And this one is was done on, oh, these are small seams, 3, 22, 2019. That's good enough for that one. Okay. All right, we colored those in. Well, let's see who else is out there. 
Oh, I love to see all of this, you guys. Oh, and Wendy says it's in Birmingham. Oh, my goodness. Oh, in the UK. Truly, we are an international group, aren't we? I love that. And Wendy's going also, and Carol, maybe you can meet up. My sister met up with Sherry out in Pennsylvania. Oh, and Sandra says, what did you name your new machine? Ooh, I wish I could think of something witty like, uh, I haven't named her yet, Sandra. Um, splurge, what was I thinking? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, she's a good girl, though. And she is a she. That I know. Anyway, I just love that you're all out there. I hope that you are having, have plans for a great weekend and do things with people you love and do what you want to do. Um, again, thank you to our newest patron. If you want to become a patron, go to Patreon dot com slash simply colorful p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash simply colorful get yourself a t-shirt join our um extra mystery quilts and support the webcast and the behind the scenes cost for hosting fibercast and just thanks for being there i'll see you all next friday night it's our last dear jane night of march so i best get sewing have a great weekend everyone Bye. Now I have to find the, the off button. Okay.